Jim Clark was a builder, a builder of buildings, a builder of a culture, a builder of people. Over Jim Clark's career as a CEO of Clark Construction Company, we built over 2,000 buildings. If there was a major project to be built in Washington, Jim felt we should build it. But he enjoyed creating opportunities even more than he enjoyed creating buildings. He felt for a person like himself who came from nothing and became a billionaire, that he was responsible to give back. Jim Clark came from a working class family, always wanted to be an engineer, was accepted at both Cornell and the University of Maryland, couldn't afford to go to Cornell. He was given by the University of Maryland a scholarship which gave him the opportunity to further his interests. He did not have a car, lived in Bethesda and hitchhiked every day, graduated from the University of Maryland, was fortunate enough to get a job with a small local construction company. His first engineering job was here, working on Blen L. Martin Hall, which was the first engineering building on campus. Ultimately became president, chief executive officer, and ultimately owner of what is now the Clark Organization. From those humble beginnings, he never forgot where he came from. Jim firmly believed that young people were our future. If we don't educate young people, what kind of future would we have? He always wanted to give back if he did really well. So his way of giving back was through the form of a scholarship. Mr. Clark gave a gift in 1994 to honor the centennial of the College of Engineering. And so he really wanted his engineers from this school to become leaders and have impact broader than just their engineering skills, but also on society at large. Right after that, they decided to name the college in his name. So the Clark Opportunity Transfer Scholarship Program was to help students who maybe didn't have the money or couldn't get into University of Maryland as a freshman, for those students to get into the field of engineering. He's influenced not just myself and my life, but so many other students. I'm Alan Corbin, I'm an electrical engineering major at University of Maryland, and I'm class of 2017. After high school, I didn't exactly know how I wanted to pay for college, so I enrolled in Carroll Community College. I set a goal for myself to get a 4.0, to earn a scholarship, to go to a great university, such as University of Maryland. Depending on the semester, I would be working about 40 and 50 hours a week to pay for my community college, while you know, keeping up with my studies. I was always pushing myself. I was still the only person in my family to actually ever go to college. So I'm very appreciative of the A. James Clark Scholarship. It allowed me to go to Maryland and pursue something I didn't think was possible with walking on for the Maryland football team. He embodies all the ideals of Mr. Clark. He's hardworking. I wake up at six in the morning, go to Lyft. He's focused. I'll go to class. He's disciplined. In between the class, try to get the homework done. It was very challenging at times. There are already, I think, a thousand Clark Scholars at this university. One of these Clark Scholars will become the next Jim Clark. They will become the next CEO of a major construction firm. They may become the President of the United States. And that's all he's working towards, is to make an investment that leads to a major impactful thing for society.